All right, hey there, Frost Gaming crew. This is Prox Mike here. We're back for some more of the Yokai Wars 3 Let's Play. If you didn't miss out during the last one, well, Yokai Wars Factory is now completed. We went in battle with the main Chapter 6 boss known as Yopple Bot. Uh, interesting battle, if I have to say so myself, with that one is that you can actually let Yopple Bot do his uh, automatic thing with him kind of moving around within the different tile spaces, or you can actually go and use the drop down arrows that actually fall from the sky, and you can use the target button if you want and hit. Uh, any type of arrows that are going to be around so that you can go and move Yopplebot into that said direction if you want to go and uh, light up for any type of ultimate move right away and uh, not have him try to jump between from different things. So interesting uh, type of way of how we could go and do within that battle there. But for right now, uh, since we're all said and done here, we are going to be moving off into Chapter 7, The Escape from the Haunted House. And uh, we're going to see what that's going to be entailing uh, with our time uh, for these next couple of episodes. Now, currently for right now, here in the very beginning of chapter 7 we are going to have to go and find another one of those fancy that books and we're going to have to go and uh, head back into silver storyline uh, for the time being within here or as I say not really meant for the storyline since it is a actual converging type of chapter here once again so we are going to have to kind of switch between uh, the characters for right now and just kind of hop into whatever type of key quest that we're going to have to go and do uh, for right now at this moment. Now again, uh, since it is going to be a converging chapter, we do actually have uh, the inventory all shared at this point. Medallions are all shared up at this point as well too, so at least the good thing is, is that if we are looking for, well, any type of legendary yokai to be getting unlocked here, at least the good thing is is that we do have all the uh, well, all the special medallions that we have uh, at this moment in time, and we can go and try to use them uh, to at least hopefully try to uh, get those guys cleared up so that by the time that we can go and open up with the legendary yokai, we should have at least all the special ones that we do need already fully here within our web. And uh, speaking about with that says special uh, specialized yokai that we do need for the legendary ones that we're going to be having to go and look for, uh, we are going to be returning back to one of the Cranky Kai machines and uh, starting to use up more of the coins that we do have within our time of having Nate alongside with us here. And uh, if you guys go and see, we do have the Yopple bot here. And uh, this is going to be known as the Yokai Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, this is basically somewhat of like a Roomba type of, uh, well, I guess type of equipment here that we're going to have to go and use. And I'm going to say that it's going to probably be something that is going to be met uh, for actually uh, using somewhat of like your yokai watch menu item. Kind of like how we had it before when we went and used like the yokai drill. So this yokai cleaner will basically be somewhat within that uh, type of facility as well too. So that we can kind of work around within that dream link situation here. But here we go. Let's go and uh, see how many cranky kai uh, type of attempts that we could go and do here. I think I actually do land on five. So at least that's a little bit better we were really close to uh one of the other numbers as well we were right up close there right to the uh 10 margin that would have been so nice to go and have but unfortunately that's not gonna be the case so uh this is uh something a little bit interesting uh now i didn't really get to go and show you guys too much of exactly all of the uh different coins that we actually have right now uh, but i am going to show you guys the main important ones that are going to be new for us now, uh, since I already went and picked up with the uh, Emneon and uh, Sapneon, uh, I was starting to get like the same type of yokais again uh, within the time of using the uh, Tempora coins that we have. But we do have these beam coins and we just found Claudzilla. So it seems like Claudzilla can also be found within these set coins. It's just that you have to be really, really, really precise when it comes to any type of uh, gold type of uh, uh, well area that you can go and land. Uh, unless if you do have like some sort of like dream fever thing that we have here. Uh, if you are lucky enough, you can try to uh, add some more gold spaces within the actual set, uh, uh, well, within the set actual dream, uh, dream, uh, yokai, uh, cranky kind of machine that's going to be here. But we now do have, uh, Nintendo Lin, now finally, uh, nicknamed here for this one. I sometimes do kind of watch Nintendo in here and there. Uh, now, again, uh, as you guys uh, want to go and know, uh, I am going to be going and naming after some yokai from different online friends of mine. And also as well, too, if you guys ever want to go and uh, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to go and get yourselves uh, as an actual yokai, uh, make sure that you guys go ahead and do so. Now, I am kind of running a little bit low uh, within some of the... Well, with this, some of the yokai ballast that we're doing, because uh, I don't think there's really any too much else of like any type of auto befriending that we could go and do. I know that there's Komajiru. I know that that's like something that we could go and do all the way within uh, chapter 
uh, yeah, all the way back into like chapter nine, uh, if we can go and start reaching off over two there, but we'll see what happens. I know that we're going to probably be heading back to some of these different crank kind machines as we go along. Uh, so you guys may probably get to see your name uh, somewhat get popped up around here. Uh, we do have a uh, ghost desk now. Uh, ghost desk is uh, somewhat of an interesting yokai. I don't really know too much about with uh, with her, but uh, we're going to be calling it after PK Gam. Classic uh, Poketuber. Well, I, I wouldn't really call him as a Poketuber. More so of like a Let's Player in a way. So, shout out to that guy. I don't know if he still does videos anymore. Because the last time that I see him do videos was like all the way back in like 2009, 2010. Somewhere around there. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Now, this is uh, basically Silver or Halia's first time here in the BBQ area. So, she's going to decide to uh, head off into the way of the circus. And uh, do some exploring around within here for a little bit. Say what? I guess uh, Haley Ann has never actually experienced a circus before. So? Well, you know what? We never really got to experience a circus before yet within Yokai Watch 3, and uh, that already happened uh, back in a couple of episodes. And that was when they went to set it all up here. So I guess this area, I, I want to say, of this circus is going to be something of like a permanent type of place to be at, right? Because, like, there's still, like, a little bit of some other sub-quests that you can do around over here if you are interested with it. And I don't know if already when I brought this up, but we are doing Mario Galaxy. If you guys are interested with the other video that's happening for today, uh, me and Kevin are going to be continuing onwards with more of the comment uh, stars that we're going to have to go and search for. And also return back to the engine room and be able to go and do some more collection around with their time as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, me and Kevin are going to try and do a 100% on Mario Galaxy. We are going to try and grab all the, all the green stars, any type of red stars that we do go and see, any type of regular stars and... Uh, uh, hopefully we can try to add all of those as best as we can so that hopefully by the time that we go and collect all of those within Mario's way we can then go and jump right on into Luigi's Galaxy and try out that because I've never actually tried out playing through Luigi before in the original Mario Galaxy so that should be pretty fun and uh, can't wait to go do that here so now we got ourselves our, uh, one of these singular type of key quests that we're gonna have to do. There's nothing really anything too important with any of these, uh, key quests for right now. It's just that, uh, all that we have to go and do is just take care of one, and then we basically get the fancy that book here. And then we can go and then move off into, uh, into our time for right there. So we got ourselves a little lap here, and she's still cleaning within the detective agency, so that's pretty nice, at least making this uh, whole area at least a little bit nice for uh, for any type of other customers that need to come on in and basically get to go and uh, talk about what type of uh, detective work that we do need within here. There. Now, this uh, particular key quest, uh, all that we really have to go and do is that we're going to make Haley Ann, or aka known as Silver, uh, basically become a, uh, a worker uh, somewhere with this, some sort of uh, cafe that uh, Haley Ann actually kind of likes. So we're going to have to go and head off into there for today. So we have to go and uh, talk to this. Uh, I have got it. I got it made. So uh, I believe uh, that is what the actual yokai is actually known as, is got it made here. So it looks like she needs to like uh, get some work it seems like as well for her <laughs> for her too so we're gonna have to go and help her out a little bit. But yes, here at Sparkopolis, there is that Main in Heaven Cafe area. I know that we've been to that place, like, quite a bit sometimes. I know that we've been to there from previously before on trying to look for a certain character or something around over there from previously from last time, right? So let's just go and move off into the next way, and here we are over in the Main in Heaven area. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of some different type of little miniature type of mini games that we're going to have to go and do here uh, for a little bit within this said type of employee work uh, thing that we have to go and do about here. But really, it's not all that too difficult. As, as long as you can kind of memorize exactly about what the customers actually do want uh, within that set type of food that they do need, you can just go and relay it back over to the other customer or, or, or to the other employee lady that's also going to be here, and uh, she'll give out the food to you, and then you can go and hand it right on over to the guy that's going to be having it. <laughs> Well, I don't know exactly how the uh, age type of requirement is supposed to be here for this job, but I guess anybody can actually get hired here for this. So let's go and do it. <laughs> Alright, well, we are ready. Let's go and do it here. 
Now I will have to uh, go and get myself a little bit prepared for Twilight Princess as well, um, because I know that within uh, the two videos that I'm doing right now, um, since I don't really have anything going on at this current moment in time uh, within the way of the video, because like I only have I think just Yokai Watch one to go and do a post recording with since I already have um, Mario Galaxy already uh, set and finished with I'm gonna try and get myself well prepared for Twilight Princess as well just so that I don't have to really worry about having to go and record it for uh, uh, for the next day for tomorrow's post recording because then I could just have that video there and just start uh, rendering out and doing some other things uh, for next time. But here's the customer that we're going to have to go with you, so uh, we're going to have to go and talk over to this guy here from right now. Okay. Now, it seems like uh, what we're going to have to uh, go and do first is that we're going to have to like try and greet this guy, and that's what we went and did from there. But now what we're going to have to do here is that now we're going to have to go and get this guy's order, so... This one really shouldn't be all that too bad. So at least if you can remember these three type of requirements here that this guy needs, you can just go and relay it back to the, uh, back to the other employee and she'll make it uh, and uh, we'll get it all set and finished there for right now. Understood. I wonder if uh, this whole escape m mansion uh, type of episode is gonna probably be uh, all in case with like something kind of like what Yokai Wash 4 is. Because I wonder if that old hang, uh, like, like, old lady, like, type of hag lady, I think that's what it was known as, like, that one yokai, uh, I wonder if she's gonna probably make her, uh, appearance here within this game or not. Maybe not, I think she'll probably be somewhat of a newer type of character within, like, the Yokai Watch 4 game, but, you never know. Again, I am going into this somewhat a little bit blindly while I go and play. Because I can only just go off the topics that I only know for right now that's happening within this episode, of course. Now, I just went and uh, did Monster Hunter Stories uh, 1, and uh, went and did a live stream for that for you guys if you haven't uh, checked that out already. Um, but I want to say that during for episode 10, uh, it has been pretty nice so far. We're almost getting our way out of uh, Gilgarin at this point in time. I think we're starting to head off into another new area known as Alborax, uh, which is going to be like somewhat of a... Uh, like, well, actually, before we go and even reach out to Alvarex, I think there's this other place known as, like, Osum or something. That's, like, uh, a deserty area that we're going to have to cross on through first before we can even make it all the way over to that Alvarex area. So, let's see. Did I do it right? Aw, what? So, this guy actually did win here. So, it looks like we're going to have to go and take a picture with the said dude. But that's fine. There we go. I think that was a nice good picture there. Now, I don't know if I already went and said something like this before, but I think somebody in my comments went and told me something that there's apparently a secret type of treasure that we can go and look for, and I'm going to try and uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, but apparently it seems like we're going to have to head behind uh, some sort of bank or something that's going to be around here in Springdale, and there's like some sort of Orgeon type of part that we have to go and pick up with. Um, now, I guess there's not really a specific guide or something that has ever been taught, like how to go and find this type of Orgeon part, but again, it's nothing really all that too super important, unless if you want to go and customize out with Orgeon. Um, but I'll go ahead and do it. I'll, I'll see if I can, uh, have some time to go after that type of little side mission there. But it's really not all that too entirely difficult from what I've heard. It's that you'll get, like, three specific locations for these said type of little, uh, secret type of things that we're gonna have to go and search for. And if we can go and find all those clues properly, then we could then, uh, grab that part there. I think there's, like, one of them that's, like, apparently in some sort of station area. Uh, like one of, one of the train station places, and then there's like two other different things that we're gonna have to go with too, but we'll see what happens. But hey, we got ourselves with uh, an Origion uh, thing for the maid here. So let's say we can get ourselves like a Origion type of costume, I guess, or something like that. But we got ourselves with an ice cream cone. That's alright. It would have been nice to have uh, the gold statue, but you know what? I think we already have pretty enough, but good enough money for right now, as it is. But hooray! Wow. Another fancy that book, and now we can go and show that off to uh, Nate and Buck, and then finally get ourselves at least some bit of our time getting ourselves moved across into some other things here. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, and here comes out the annoying part. So, uh, unfortunately, the one annoying thing that you're gonna have to do is, is that if you ever decide to go and switch between your characters, you're gonna also have to go and try to head back to one of the locations where one of the other characters is gonna be at. So, you kind of have to go and jump from the actual warp point uh, around where one of the different watch houses are gonna be, and then you're gonna then have to go and then jump from the Yokai Watch Factory to the next portal. Which that seems quite a bit annoying. I hopefully hope that there's gonna be like another type of item or something that will kind of, kind of make things a little bit fa like fast forward for us without having to go and do it like that. But Buck's taking a nice, good, hard look at all of that going on. Wait. Huh? Ouch. All right. Well, I guess we passed some sort of uh, thing that was going on with Buck, so I guess uh, we're all good with that there now. Oh, and uh, actually, Buck's gonna be bringing us along as well. Cool. Was, uh, was having a silver healing in here for now. But I think with that being said, mine, I think it's gonna be a good enough time where we are gonna have to go and end off the episode for today. Thank you guys so much for watching here for Yokai Watch 3. See you guys in the next one, and peace.